It's my last first day of nursing school. Hey everyone, my name is Kristen and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm currently in my fourth and final semester of nursing school. Sad to say, but I just had my very last first week of nursing school and I wanted to go ahead and vlog it for you guys. So if you're wondering how my first week of nursing school went, just go ahead and keep watching. difficult for me to get up this morning and I'm in a new apartment so it is just a hard transition last night to sleep in a new bed and you know how all that goes when you're moving so I have a new room to decorate which I'm super excited about I have ethics in the morning followed by med surge two in the afternoon and on Tuesdays I have an ethics class at three in the afternoon so my day doesn't end until five on Tuesday it's a very long day but we're gonna get through it and I'm super excited to take y'all along on my day I actually do have to go get a parking pass my last apartment I actually had an assigned garage this apartment I have an assigned parking lot so I have to actually go get a pass for the parking lot and it's 23 degrees outside so this is gonna be a fun adventure <laughs> Like sometimes I get so blue, there's no one getting through. But you come sliding down. Got back from getting my parking pass hundreds of dollars later. But that is done. I have med surge today at 11:30. It's 10:17. So I'm just gonna sit, do some reviewing, sign into class, and just continue my day. And I'm looking around my room. I really need to like get it in order. It is so messy right now. I have so much to do today. Yeah, we'll kind of see how the day goes. So I need to go grocery shopping. And in the process of needing to do that, I had a Chick-fil-A coupon for a chicken sandwich. So I went ahead and I picked this up today. Um, yeah, this is what happens when you decide to come back and try to get your room organized literally at the start of classes. So yeah, this is what it looks like being a student at the start of class when you wait to kind of do everything at once. But that's okay, we're getting it done. After med surge, I am gonna start tackling just- Oh, wow, y'all, what a day it has been. I tried to film me going to med surge too. I tried to film me going to my ethics class. Big incident happened today in my apartment. I went to go turn on my light. The light switch was making a weird buzzing noise and we all know electrical outlets or any type of electrical wiring that makes buzzing is not a good sound. Now when I went to turn off my light, the switch was producing smoke. So I turned the switch off. And as you can see, I'm still a little bit like wound up from the situation. I can't even like get my thoughts straight. And I called my landlord no answer and normally my landlord's really good at responding this whole entire transition process into me moving to my new apartment has been fantastic well landlord didn't answer the switch was still making sizzling noises and the light was still on i tried turning the light off did not work i was kind of scared because every time that switch was moved you could see more smoke being produced so i called the non-emergency fire department number because there was no fire quite yet i needed somebody to come out and take a look at this the fire department was so great today they had three dispatchers come and take a look it could have been worse but um thankfully my apartment is okay i have an electrician coming out today around like 5 30 in the evening I have no lights in my room right now. There's no heat in my room. I was actually sitting in the living room for class and in my new living situation, I actually have a roommate and I did not before. So, you know, I could film at all hours of the day. I could be out and about and do whatever. But now that I have a roommate, I do have to be respectful. So my new place is definitely an adjustment for filming and I will find some good angles in here. I know I need a better background. Currently I'm on my bed. My pillows are kind of out of place right now. I had to throw everything on my bed because I just moved in. There's so much on the floor. Unfortunately, the firefighters did have to come in today and they saw what a disaster my room was because I just brought everything up yesterday. I was way too tired after doing a full 16 hour drive to unpack everything. And now I am slowly going to reorganize my room. I would totally do this on camera, but my room is so dark. Like if I wasn't near the window right now, I can't even really see anything. So I am gonna go ahead and finish out Tuesday's vlog with, I had a very good day. I did get my parking pass this morning. I went to my 8 a.m. class, which was leadership. 
That class was a little dry, but I'm assuming that leadership is going to be a little bit more of a dry class throughout the semester. I had med surge. I absolutely love the professor. And then I had ethics. And if you don't already know a little bit about my background, which I know I put in my welcome to my channel video, I already have a master's in bioethics. My background is a little bit different of how I wanted to become a nurse. I originally thought I wanted to go to med school. So yeah, I did take some time before I tried to apply to med school and I didn't want to stay out of school. My bioethics program is where I fell in love with nursing. I loved the nurse bioethicist at the hospital that I shadowed at. I loved everything about her job. That is where I fell in love with bridging the two degrees and that is why I'm in nursing school. So. I definitely took some time today to talk to my ethics professor, who my ethics professor actually has a PhD in bioethics. So I was like, please help me figure out how I can bridge my two degrees. I would really love to do that. As you can see, I took a shower after that whole incident happened. So my plan today is to finish organizing most of my room today, kind of picking out where I want to hang things up on the wall. And that's probably the end of my night. So I will go ahead and see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Okay. I'm currently outside having to move my car. This is what we're dealing with today. I was spoiled before and didn't have to worry about this because I parked in a garage. And now I have to take all the snow off my car and move my car because this is a night only lot and I have to park on the street. Yeah, I was very spoiled in my old apartment where I parked in a garage, didn't have to deal with this, but it's okay. We're getting through. Man, this is fresh snow too. This just comes right off. Thank God I'm doing this now and not waiting. I took a little detour. I ended up at the store. I don't even think I gave a happy Wednesday. Um, I ended up taking a detour to the store just to get a couple things. And I ended up walking out with my bag super full. I only brought in one reusable bag thinking I was only gonna get a couple things. And then there were so many things that I eat on sale. So I just decided to stock up when I can. I'm currently waiting for my car to warm up. It's 16 degrees outside. So I have to give my car a second and then I'm gonna go home, cook some breakfast and yeah, just get started with my day. I'm now back in at my apartment. I apologize, my hair is a mess. The wind was thrown in my face today. I am just about to put my groceries away and I also wanted to show y'all just the mess that I have in my room. This is all the stuff that I unpacked, kitchen stuff, school stuff, bathroom stuff. And then I have all the decorations that I'm gonna hang up right here. So this is my really messy bed this morning. But yeah, this is what I am working with. This is all that I have to finish organizing today. So my plan today, I'm actually going to be working just very part-time hours as a nanny for a family. I applied to a few SNA, CNA, PCT jobs. Um, a lot of the hospitals in my area are in a hiring freeze. So just to get myself out and getting some experience in childcare, I decided to just babysit part-time. Now I have nannied in the past for families when I was back in undergrad. So I did decide just to have that option to have some extra childcare in case I decide to go into peds, which I'm not quite sure if I wanna do peds, OB, or NICU. I know NICU's my end game, but I would be happy in any of those. And honestly, I would be happy with any kind of job with all that is going on right now. But I figured if I wanna try to go that route, I should at least maybe get some babysitting experience. So I have that from one to four today. I was gonna take the train in, but it is so cold outside and it is snowy and icy. So I don't wanna have the chance to trip and fall, which I tend to do that. So. I am just going to hang tight until I have to leave. They're very close to my house, so I'm just gonna drive into downtown and park. Parking is a little bit expensive, but we're kind of dealing with that as it comes. So that's why I was gonna take the blue line in, but that's currently where I'm at right now. So I have all my room to get done, organized and clean. This is day three in my new apartment. I am getting there, it is almost done. I've already hung up all my clothes. I really like to make sure that I keep things as organized as I can. I was gonna make oatmeal and then, you know, it's almost 11 o'clock and I'm kind of just not in the mood for breakfast anymore. I am usually not a huge breakfast person. Mainly the things that I know I always eat for breakfast is like smoothies, 
yogurt parfaits, oatmeal, overnight oats. And sometimes if I'm like really rushing, I'll buy bagels. Days that I have clinical at 7 a.m., if I forget to make breakfast the night before, I'll just do a bagel. I decided to just do a sandwich for lunch today, make it easy. I have a lot that I wanna do before I go to my new job. So I wanna go ahead and just like quickly eat something. And it was super easy to make. They just have a turkey sandwich with pepper jack cheese, tomatoes. I love banana peppers. You know, not everyone's a fan, but I am. And I just got spring mix. Um, I really like the spring mix just because I can use it in salads and sandwiches. And I just love the taste of it. So I normally just get this big guy right here. And yeah, I like to load mine with lettuce. So once I'm done eating, I will catch y'all up on how my room is coming along. My plan is to not really do any homework until I get home today. I'm just getting in the groove of school, so I don't wanna overwhelm myself right now. I also have a new routine where I'm gonna be going to work on Wednesdays and Fridays. I don't wanna be overloading myself trying to do homework in the morning, so I know I work best at studying in the evening. So that's my plan. So just go ahead and make sure I'm studying at night. So that's probably why you're wondering. I'm not really doing any schoolwork right now, and that is why. Currently going downtown, like I said, I am babysitting for a family that lives down there. This is definitely going to be a fun adventure because I have a hard time driving in the downtown area here. People drive so crazy and I'm not the most experienced at parallel parking because you know in Florida you really don't have to do that unless like you're in the very city center of a city in Florida. There's not really parallel parking. The year that I actually got my driver's license, they took parallel parking off the exam, so I was never tested on that or even had to learn how to do it. That's my story about how I've been trying to get better at parallel parking. Still pretty bad at it though. I just made dinner. Um, I'm currently sitting at my desk. I was gonna eat on the couch, but then I decided to come into my room. It's been a long day. I got back from babysitting and now I have dinner. I already started eating, but I have salmon and then a kale salad, broccoli and an avocado. Nothing fancy, just something that's healthy, quick and easy. The babysitting job went well. Um, I don't know if it's long term or not. So I'm waiting to talk to the parents to kind of see where their head is and kind of what my thoughts were on the whole babysitting process as well. So we'll see if this is going to be a like short term position or if it's like more permanent. So, but I'm gonna eat and then get started on some homework. Good morning, everyone. I just woke up, it is Thursday. I have my eight o'clock leadership class. So I literally just woke up, brushed my teeth and got out of bed at like 7.55, so as you can tell, I literally just got up, so I'm gonna go to class and then probably film a video right after or make breakfast too. I have all that to do before my next search class, so I gotta go. I am currently outside. I have to move my car every day, which there's tons of cars in this parking lot that have the same parking pass I do that never move their cars. So I think there's gonna be a day where I'm gonna stop moving it every single day. So we will see. But I guess the lot's from like eight to nine. So 8 p.m. to 9 a.m. I'm starting to believe they don't check it because I've seen cars parked here day after day during the day and nothing has happened. So there's tons of ice on the ground. Like, look at this. This is all ice and I'm trying so hard not to slip and fall. Thankfully, the weather is so much better today. It's 34, I think. Yesterday it was in the teens, so my fingers felt like they were gonna fall off at one point. This is the time where I just sit and wait for my car to warm up. So yeah, I just got out of my leadership class. Um, we got out like 20 minutes early. I do have to listen to a recording just because my professor said he's most likely not going to be able to finish it all. So I will have to listen to that. It looks like today is just going to be an easy day because my med search class got canceled. Only thing I am required to do today is just go to the clinical orientation for the second semester students to talk about my experience. That is all that I have on my schedule today. Like I said, I am probably just gonna film a video and get that up soon. I am thinking about redoing my schedule for video posting. I have a lot of free time this semester, so I'm thinking about doing 
Mondays and Thursdays, so trying my best to film twice a week. We will see how it works out, but if not, I will always still post on my Thursday or Friday. My goal is Mondays and Thursdays, just so I can do like more weeks in my life, days in my life, so you can really see what it's like being an online nursing student right now. That is what I am hoping for. We will see how that works out. So once 4 or 4.30 comes around, I will go back and park in that lot. That lot fills up by like five, and that's the lot that's closest to my new apartment building. All right, let's go make breakfast. I'm currently just boiling some oatmeal. I am going to add a banana, chia seeds, and then honey, and most likely some cinnamon. I actually just got out of the meeting uh, for that new clinical orientation for the second semester students. So all I did today <laughs> after class and eat was record a video, which I recorded twice because the lighting the first time around was not good. And now I'm actually uploading that video now. It's already edited. I am just now sitting here waiting for this to upload. Upload. did eat lunch I had a sandwich again with a sweet kale salad of all the bag of salads that is the only one that I really buy and the Asian one from time to time those are like my two favorite but I love just making salads on my own that is what my afternoon has looked like it's currently 2 35 I am gonna upload this and then go to Target so then I can move my car and park in my parking spot for tonight I am just going to finish this and I will take you along to Target with me I just got out of Target I was talking to my sister the whole entire time. No, I'm currently driving home. I'm gonna park and then go home and make dinner. I'm actually kind of hungry. And tonight, gonna go home and take out either chicken or shrimp to defrost. I'm not 100% sure which one yet, but I will keep y'all updated on what I decide to make for dinner. Now, tonight, there is a hockey game on. Um, if you watched my last week of my life, you know that I adore watching the hockey games, specifically for the Tampa Bay Lightning, but I love watching hockey games in general, so I'm gonna watch that and probably work on some notes for med surge. I also have some clinical work I have to do, so I'm gonna kind of pick and choose tonight and see which one I want to focus on. Y'all, this is exactly what I was talking about by this parking lot. Just take a look. All these spots are taken except for three, and this is supposed to be a night-only parking lot. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Just got inside and my video finally, finally uploaded and finished processing. So I'm currently just making that public right now. And we are going to publish this video. If I can click the save button, there we go. My new video is up. It's all about researching accelerated nursing programs because I've been getting tons of questions about that as a nursing student, kind of how I found my program, what I did before I actually enrolled. So all of that information is now out there on specifically what I did when I was researching the program. I ended up making street tacos. I'll insert a picture right here. I made street tacos with some fried plantains on the side. I had a plantain that I needed to cook or else it was gonna go bad. It was super, super yummy. Now I'm currently watching the game on my computer. My TV is just going in and out, so I gave up and I switched to my computer. This is what I'm currently dealing with right now. I have also been answering questions, comments, going on Facebook, answering Facebook comments, and I've also been emailing my professors, the ones that have emailed me. I've been sending out emails, so I really haven't been able to film just because I've been sitting at my desk and it's honestly not anything super fun just answering emails and comments and everything else. I think tomorrow morning I'm going to do an overview of my desk tour, so that's exciting. I guess kind of take you through my Friday. Tomorrow I am going to buckle down and study. I have a lot of homework to do and I have a three-day weekend, so I am going to spend most of my weekend doing some homework, so I definitely want to show you how I'm studying. So yeah, I'm going to go back to watching the game and I will update y'all in a little bit. Good morning, happy Friday. Yeah, my Thursday night was not eventful at all. I just <laughs> watched the game and then went to sleep afterwards. I have a lot of free time this weekend, so I'm gonna kind of catch up with schoolwork. You will see that this semester I have tons of free time. I know I keep saying it, but I went ahead and I already got dressed. I just need to finish getting ready, like doing my makeup, going to move my car, 
and then kind of take the day from there I'm gonna make breakfast but yeah I have tons of schoolwork I have to work on so I think I'm just gonna take it section by section I'm also gonna do like a little desk tour my desk is right there kind of show you how I'm organizing things and I also have a bookshelf right here of all my stuff so yeah I'll give you a little tour too throughout the day so you can kind of see how I organized it it's not very organized but you know what it's gonna work for my last semester because my desk is kind of small my bookshelf's kind of small and I don't really have a dresser I only have like one of those three cube organizers try my best to stay as organized with the little amount of space I have uh, let's go ahead and get my Friday started I have uh, these bagels here I get the Asiago and the blueberry two of my favorite I also love cinnamon raisin these are just the couple that I picked up normally I don't really eat too much bread in the morning I kind of just got these because I figured my clinicals at 7 in the morning and I have to be there by like 6 30 and it's a 12 hour shift so I figured bagels would be something super fast and easy in the morning if I couldn't make my smoothies or make a yogurt parfait. I got these and plus I can freeze these after the sell by date. I'm planning on hopefully having bagels for a little bit. This is the space that I am working with for my desk. It is super small. I know it is an older desk that my older sister got for me when I actually got my own studio back in undergrad, which I had since given to my younger sister. And as you can see, the chair is super old, but hey, this is what I'm working with. I actually have this lap desk right here for when I want to work anywhere on like a couch or if I wanna sit on my bed and study. Okay, I'll just take you through my quick desk tour. So starting with up here, I decided to make a vision board, which I thought would be super important to just hang right above my desk and to try to keep with the farmhouse theme. I added the twine at the top. Now I have two pictures, one of me traveling when I was in Houston and then me and my sister right here. And then I actually got these two signs the last year at Hobby Lobby. I just never hung them up because I knew I was moving into a different apartment, so I didn't want to actually put them up. But I have this one that says, I'm a nurse, what is your superpower? I'm not a nurse yet, I am a student nurse. So I am reminding myself that this is my future that I'm working towards. And then I have this over here, which my stepdad was super nice to actually cut one of these out for me with the wood from his land. And I thought it'd be super cute right on my desk. Then I just have this snowy plant right here. And the other sign from Hobby Lobby says nursing is a work of heart. Like I said, I've had these for months. I've just never hung them up and now I'm super excited. I do have a candle from Bath and Body Works. It's called Merry Cookie, so it smells like cookies. And right here I have all my pens, highlighters, things that I use all the time, like my whiteout. And then these are just cute flower pens that I made way back in the day that I have just sitting here as decoration as well. I do have my journal right here. And the other thing that I have that I absolutely love are these fake tea light candles. It helps set a studying mood for me. So I have four that I kind of just put around my desk whenever I am studying, but I love just the way it looks when I have these on. I just have my laptop right here. And I also have a little fidget cube if you know anything about me. I actually do fidget a lot when I study. So when I feel super fidgety, I just have a fidget cube. I just have this open right now because I am currently checking off things on my list that I need to do today. And then I just have my water bottle. I always make sure I have water whenever I'm studying. One other thing in this desk I wanted to show you was the drawer. This drawer is very small. It is very packed, I know. Thankfully, I don't have to look at it. I can just close the drawer and not have to worry. I tried to make it as organized as I could with the space that I'm working with. So it works for now, but maybe throughout the year I might reorganize this. But I have all my extra Sharpies and highlighters back here for my badge. These are the ones that I take to clinical with me in case you're wondering. I'll go ahead and link those down below because this clips right onto my badge and it's so easy for me not to forget a pen, Sharpie, or highlighter. I also have extra post-it notes in here. I have little ones, big ones. I use these a lot, so I made sure to put this pack right here because I'll probably go through these two pretty quickly. I have paper clips, binder clips. I also have some gold ones under here. I have binder rings, which I use these to go ahead and section out the pages that I'm studying at that time. It just helps keep things organized whenever I'm trying to study for an exam. And because I am working on drug cards again, I have some right here just to make it easy for me to get them instead of just packing them away. And underneath this, I actually have highlighters. I don't use those as often, so they're just tucked under there. And when I need them, I can just remove this. I just have extra post-it notes here. 
I have a stapler, staples, and then USB drive. And then I have all my black pens and Sharpies right here. And then just pencils. But that is pretty much all that I have in this little desk area. I know it's super small. I do have the portable desk option in case I don't want to study at my desk because I can study on my bed, which is a queen size bed, so it's huge. If I wanna do that, I can move to the couch and I can also move to the dining table. The dining table is just really small here, so I just don't like to study on it. All right, wow, this lighting is beautiful. Look at this. Okay, let's go ahead and move over to my little bookshelf so I can show you how I organize that. Once again, I'm working with such a small amount of space. For a regular organization, I don't recommend anything that I'm doing. So this is my tiny little bookshelf. I am using these crates. I have four of them. I'm just putting my books in here and I know it looks a little messy, but I promise there's an organization to it. Now I have just all my old nursing school notes, I condense them to three binders, so it's easy for me to just pull out the binder I need. The pink one is all peds, OB, and mental health. This one has all my patho and then med surge and farm in it. And then this is all foundation. Right on this side, I do just have all of my ATI books that I'm actually not currently using. So you'll see when I go to the shelf above, I have all the ones that I'm using for this semester, just easily accessible right on top with the rest of my binders and folders. And I do just have some extra flashcards and then some blank note cards there as well. And then down here, I also just keep my manual blood pressure cup just in case I need it. Up here, I have every everything organized by my class so I know it looks a little messy but I have med surge and then my clinical stuff right here so when I'm going to class I can just pull it all out and then I have my leadership right here and then I have ethics and I also have my Saunders book just so when I'm working on the weekend on some NCLEX prep I have that available to me I also do have some clear pages for my binders and then just my clipboard that I love to write on whenever I'm taking notes by hand. And then I just have three other things up here. Two are folders. One has all my medical documents. I am taking medical Spanish. That is a very difficult class and it isn't a priority, but I'm doing it just for fun. It's just so I can learn some more medical terminology in Spanish. And then this is just my journal for YouTube. And all right, y'all, I'm already in the kitchen making dinner. I've been on and off the phone. I just put a sweet potato in the oven. I'm making roasted sweet potatoes with roasted broccoli. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fry up some salmon. I'm just waiting for that to defrost right now. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and plop this in the oven with the potatoes. <laughs> I'm just waiting on the sweet potatoes and broccoli to be done. I realized I probably didn't need to make the broccoli since I have a salad. Just save whatever I don't eat for tomorrow and the next day. All right, that's it. I have the place to myself this weekend, but I already have my TV on, so I was gonna eat out in the living room. I'm already in here watching TV, so yeah, I'm gonna pop a squat. everybody i was going to film all the way through the weekend but i've already started editing the video and this video is kind of getting really long so i might just stop it today and kind of show you my study routine. Um, as you know, I did start studying last night. For some reason, I started with ethics. I don't know why I did that. I should have started with med surge, but I guess because I already do have a master's in bioethics, I really just wanted to get ethics out of the way. I know most of that information already, so I really just wanted to get that done and I don't have to worry about this week's lecture. Oh, I have something in my hair. I didn't get it. So today is all about med surge and I'm also going to be watching my lectures over again for leadership. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into my day. For lunch, I am making an instant pot chicken noodle soup. Um, I've made this once before and it's super delicious, homemade. It's super cold outside. So I'm just using all these ingredients to make chicken noodle soup. I just finished the chicken noodle. It has the egg noodles, chicken, carrots, celery. You can see how hot it is right now. I am currently just sitting on my bed listening to my lecture still. 
I got about halfway through it, but all I'm doing is going back to week one, re-listening to Tuesday and Thursday lectures. One of them I can listen to on two times speed, the other one I cannot, but it's pretty short. So I'm just going back in and making sure all my notes are written down. Then I'm gonna go back and write my notes. I've already written some of my notes before the semester started. So I already have hypertensive crisis done right here. I will kind of show you what that looks like and then I also have just the cardiac stuff all drawn out and I did go into dysrhythmias so I do have some of those notes written out already but I do have to add to those so honestly that's probably what I'm gonna do for med surge today and I'm just gonna go back over and look at the ATI stuff for next week's material just so I know what to expect going into Tuesday and Thursday. So that's all that I'm gonna be doing for med surge. And then I have a few other things I have to do, like a couple drug cards a day for the next like five or six days for my med surge clinical. I also have to work on just some modules for a scholars program that I'm in as well. So I'm literally just gonna be sitting here all night doing some homework. Alrighty y'all, that is all that I have for you in today's video. If you happen to make it this far, please give this video a like if you liked the video, as well as go ahead and subscribe and join my new Facebook group. And of course, I always just wanna wish you good luck on your nursing journey.